Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this UTA tracks, and this is a Siemens S70 light rail vehicle operated under the Utah Transit Authority. And it's articulated in two places here, making three segments. So let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off with the front wheels here. So we'll come down and get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we'll come to the front of it. On this left hand side on the upper hip box, we're going to put a polished andesite slab, then a warp sign on it. In the middle, two polished andesite slabs like this. And on the right hand side, we're going to put a dark oak vent skate against the wheel and open it. Then on this left hand side, we're going to put a red nether brick slab up here. And on the other side, a warp slab on the upper hip box. So it looks like this. Then come behind the wheels and do a 3x3 of deep slate tile walls in the middle. Behind that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. And on the center, three dark oak fence gates and open the center one. Same thing on this side here. Then go to a stone slab, come behind here on the upper hip box, and we'll do three wide of stone slabs, and we'll make that 12 blocks long. So a big rectangle, that's a 3 by 12. Once you have that, we'll put three polish andesite slabs on the back, and that'll be where the car divides. And then behind that, a single row of three andesite slabs. Then we'll do a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle, a three by three of deep slate brick walls, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. In the middle, three dark oak fence gates on each side and then open the center ones. Behind this on the upper hip box, three stone slabs, and then three polished andesite. Then behind that, we'll do another three by 12 of stone slabs. Then once we have that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle, a three by three of deep slate brick walls again, and a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then same as before, with her skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. Then three dark oak fence gates in the middle and open the center one on each side here. Then we'll come on this end. On this left hand wheel, a stone slab and a red nether brick slab out here. Then two polished andesite slabs in the middle, right here a warp sign. Open a dark oak fence gate on this wheel and on this edge, a warp slab on this upper hip box here. Then for the rest of the outside edge, we're gonna need smooth quartz slab. Start behind this wheel, do a full row, and skip where these andesite slabs are. Then one here, one here, skip the andesite slabs, and do a full row of smooth quartz up to these wheels. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So a full row of smooth quartz here, Skip these andesite slabs, one here, one here. Skip these andesite slabs, and a full row down to the end, right here. And now our base is done, and we'll come up front. Now we're gonna come on top of these slabs, put a red concrete on the left, three smooth quartz in the middle, and a blue concrete on the right. Then up here on the left, two red stained glass panes in a column, on the other side, two blue stained glass panes. Then we need to grab black stained glass block and put two rows of three across the middle. On the top middle, three smooth court stairs. Then down under the window, we'll put a glow item frame on either side like this, then one up here with a frog light in it. And we're gonna repeat that at the other end. So red concrete on the left, three smooth quartz, then blue. Then two blue stained glass panes here, 
two red ones on this side. Two rows of black glass in the middle, three smooth quartz stairs on top. Up here, a glow item frame with a frog light, and then a glow item frame on either side of the smooth quartz down here. Now we'll come up in this red corner, right behind here on the outer edge, and we'll do a column of three red concrete. Behind that, we'll do two red concrete and a black stained glass pane. Then, behind that, a smooth quartz on bottom, two red concrete above it. Then behind that on bottom, we're gonna do two layers of smooth quartz, three blocks long. And then three black stained glass panes above it. Then behind that, a column of three smooth quartz blocks coming up. Then two birch doors. And then three smooth quartz blocks behind it and come up and over the doors. Then we need to grab birch trap doors here and close two trap doors above the door so it looks like they extend up taller. Behind this, we'll do four smooth quartz on the bottom and up two on the end. Then two doors, three smooth quartz, and two above it. Two rows of three black stained glass panes in this gap. And then close two trap doors above the doors again. And that's that side done. Before we continue on this side, we're going to come over to the other end and do the red corner on this side. So right here, three red concrete, then two red concrete, and a black stained glass pane. Then a smooth quartz and two red concrete. Then two rows of three smooth quartz blocks coming back, and three black stained glass panes above them. Then a column of three smooth quartz, two doors, and come over and around the door. Close two trap doors above the doors. Then behind this, we'll come back by three, and two rows of three black stained glass panes. Then three smooth quartz here, two doors again, and come over and around the doors with smooth quartz, and close trap doors above the doors. Now we'll come down and work on the blue corner here. So we're gonna start right at this end with blue concrete and we're gonna put a column of three. Behind that, two blue concrete, black stained glass pane. Then three blue concrete again. Then we're gonna do two on bottom and one on bottom behind that. Then a smooth quartz here and then two more. A column of three behind it and three black stained glass panes here. Then two doors come over and around it with smooth quartz. Then come over three, then frame in another doorway and two doors in here. Close trap doors above all the doors and in this gap two rows of three black stained glass panes here. Then we'll come over here and repeat this. So a column of three blue concrete here, then two in a black stained glass pane, then a column of three. Then, two blue concrete on bottom, one on bottom behind it. Then smooth quartz like this, three black stained glass panes here. Then use smooth quartz to frame in a doorway and two birch doors in the middle. Close trap doors above it. Then three smooth quartz on bottom, two rows of three black stained glass panes above it. Then go back to smooth quartz and we'll just frame in another doorway here and two doors in the middle. Then close trap doors above those doors. Now come in this middle section, start on this smooth quartz slab and do a row of smooth quartz over till it's above this other slab. Copy that on this side. Then on each corner we'll put a column of two smooth quartz on all four of these. And then we'll just fill the middle gap with two layers of black stained glass panes. Same thing on this side, fill it with two layers of black stained glass panes here. Now we'll come up inside here on the end and we'll go three wide on bottom with stone block. And we're gonna bring it down till it's covering the set of wheels here. And we'll do the same thing at the other end. Three wide with stone till it's covering 
this wheel here. Then we'll come up in here and put three stone slabs across here. Then on either side, we're gonna do a glow item frame with end crystals in them. And then a lever in the middle. Then we'll repeat that at the other end. So three slabs, glow item frame on either side with end crystals, lever in the middle. Then we're gonna need blackstone brick stair. Turn around and put a stair in the middle for the driver's seat here. And we'll do the same thing at the other end. Put a stair here. Then we'll come back here and we're actually gonna put one more row of three stone blocks down here behind this right here. And we need to do the same thing at this end. So three more stone blocks right here. Then up here, we're gonna take mangrove stairs and put them in a pattern like this for seats. Then turn around in front of these stairs, an iron door on either side and an oak door in the middle. Repeat the process down here. So mangrove stairs like that. Turn around, oak door in the middle, iron door on either side to divide off the driver cab. Now come behind this, put a stone slab in the middle here so there's a stair. Do the same thing on this end, a stone slab here. Then on either side of the slab, a column of three iron bars. Then right here, three iron bars, and right here. And then we'll do the same thing on both sides of this door, and on this side. Then in this middle section, three iron bars in each of these four corners, like this. Then a column of three on either side of these back doors. And a column of three here, and here. Then here, here, and here. Then take out mangrove stairs, which is gonna be the rest of our seats here. Under this window, we're gonna put three inward facing stairs coming across the bottom here. And same thing on this side. Then in this section, we're gonna put stairs every other block on each side like this. They come down in here and three inward facing stairs under each of these windows. Then we're gonna come through anywhere we haven't built something and we're gonna cover the floor with light gray carpet. And this will fill in these holes right here. And just keep it coming anywhere we haven't built something. Just like that. Now take out red nether brick stairs. Right here on this red corner, do four of them. Same thing at the red corner at this end. Start right here and do four stairs. Then over in the blue corner, we do two warp stairs at the front. And same thing for the blue corner on this side, two warp stairs at the front. Then go to smooth court stairs and start bringing a full row of smooth court stairs down this top outside edge. Skip this middle divide. Same thing for the middle section. Skip this divide and bring it down to the front on this back section. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Start right here with smooth court stairs. Bring it down this section. Skip this middle divide, a full row of smooth court stairs on this middle section. Skip this divide and a full row of smooth court stairs to the front on this side here. Then we're gonna take out polished black stone brick wall in these gaps. Start right here and do a column of walls coming up. Same thing here. And then get the other side. Column of walls in this gap here. And on this side here. Just like that. Now come up in this top corner, put a blank oak sign here and here. Then on this side, 
we're going to put a warp sign, and we're going to type 1129. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. On this side, we'll do a mangrove sign with 1129, and hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack. Repeat the process down here. So right here, a warp sign with 1129, hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then an oak sign right here. Come over here, oak sign here, mangrove sign here with 1129. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then come down on this middle between the item frames here. And down here, we're gonna put a birch sign and we're gonna type UTA in all caps. And we hit that one with just a glow ink sack. Same thing down here. So down here in the middle, we'll do a birch sign with the UTA and hit it with a glow ink sack here. Now come under the middle of this window, put a birch sign, and we're gonna type UTA space a set of parentheses space tracks with an X. We're gonna hit that one with blue dye and a glow ink sack. And then we'll do it on this side, so under here, a sign with UTA space set of parentheses space tracks hit it with blue dye and a glow ink sack and then of course we have to do it at the other end so under this window same thing uta space a set of parentheses space tracks hit it with blue dye and a glow ink sack and then one more corner to go Repeat the process under the middle of this window here. And hit it with blue dye and a glow ink sack. Now come into a loom with a red banner and white dye. Put this diagonal on it. And then do a blue one with that diagonal. And we'll come place these. So the blue ones, we're going to put two in a pattern like this. Then on this side, the red ones go in a pattern like that. And then we just repeat that at the other end. So two blue ones right here like this. And then two red ones over here like this. Now come back into a loom with a yellow banner, light gray dye. Make the bottom half light gray. Go to white dye, put a border on and a horizontal in the middle. Then do a light gray banner and white dye, horizontal on top, bottom half white. And we'll come place these. These are for the lights, so we're going to put one on either side of these item frames and rotate them so the yellow is on the outside. And we'll do the same thing down here. Put one on either of these glow item frames, rotate them so the yellow is on the outside. Then we'll take this white and gray stripe one, because there's a stripe that runs down on the side here. So we'll come around here, behind where the sign is, two here, then one here, here, and here, one here, one here, then here and here, then here, and two here, and then none in front of the sign. And then just repeat that process with these banners all down this side. Just like that. Then we'll come back inside because I forgot to light it here. And we're going to grab end rods. And basically above each door, we're going to put two horizontal end rods. Same thing here. And then we'll come down to this end to do the same thing. Two end rods above each of the doors. And that'll light it up nicely for us. Now we'll work on the roof, so take out polished diorite slab, and down here we'll do two rows of three on the lower hitbox. Behind this, two rows of three smooth stone blocks. Behind it, two rows of three polished diorite slabs on the lower hitbox again. So we have that raised section. Behind this, a three by three of quartz brick blocks. So that section raises up as well here. Then we're gonna come behind that with polished diorite slabs again here and behind this on the lower hitbox we'll do a 3x3 of slabs 
Then behind that, we're gonna go to smooth stone blocks, two rows of three. Behind that, one in the middle, deep slate tile block on either side. Three smooth stone behind it. Then put a trap door on either of those. Then three polished diorite slabs behind it on the lower hitbox. Then this middle section is gonna be different because that's where the pantograph is. On this middle section, we're gonna put three quartz brick blocks across either end like this. Then we'll go to the next hex box down and three polished diorite slabs on either side. Then we're gonna do a double slab in each of these four corners. Then a slab down in the lower hitbox on all four of these and a smooth stone block in the middle here. And that'll be our base for the pantograph. And we're gonna use fence gates for this, so we're gonna to need to make temporary blocks. So take out any block to be a temporary block. We're gonna put two here like this. Then we're gonna come up one here and then two on top like that. Then we're gonna crouch and coming off this block, we're gonna put three iron trap doors on the middle and then a birch fence gate on either side of these iron trap doors. Then we can go ahead and open up these fence gates. Then we're gonna come up here and open back-to-back -back fence gates right here. Here we go one open this way, and on bottom, one open this way here. Then we can take off these temporary blocks. So our pantograph looks like that. Then on these four corners, we're gonna put a flower pot on each one here. And then we have one final section of the roof to do. So here, three polished diorite slabs on the lower hip box, three smooth stone blocks, one in the middle with a deep slate tile block on either side, and two rows of three smooth stone. Then trap doors on those two. In front of this, a three by three of polished diorite slabs. Then in front of that, a three by three of quartz brick block. Then in front of that, two rows of three polished diorite slabs, two rows of three smooth stone blocks, and fill the rest of this with polished diorite slabs here. Then on top of this, cover it with smooth stone slabs so it raises up, cover this one with quartz slabs, and cover this one with smooth stone. And do the same thing at this end, cover this one with smooth stone, this one with quartz, and this one with smooth stone. Now take out black stone brick walls, put three across here so it's filled in, three across here. And actually, I'm not liking these corner gaps, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in these top corners on all four of these as well. Just like that. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our UTA tracks, Siemens S70 light rail vehicle. I hope everyone enjoys this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.